Today we're going to be ranking all of my Louis Vuitton bags. Now you might be thinking that I'm going to be ranking these from most used to least used or maybe most expensive to least expensive, but that is not how I'm going to be ranking these bags. If you want to see how I'm going to be ranking these bags, then please just keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I love to talk about all things luxury. Louis Vuitton is one of my favorite fashion houses. In fact, it's my second favorite fashion house. Bottega Veneta is my first favorite fashion house. And I have five different bags here to share with you guys today, but I'm not gonna just share them with you guys. I'm gonna be ranking them based off of my most favorite to least favorite bag. I think you guys are gonna be really surprised by which bag is actually my least favorite because it's probably one of my most talked about bags. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna share with you guys my first favorite bag. My favorite bag in my Louis Vuitton collection is my Louis Vuitton Crosette. You guys have heard me talk about this bag quite a bit. It's the perfect size for me and that is why it's my favorite. But another reason why it's my favorite is because of the fact that it has a top handle. I am 100% a top handle girl. I think that it just makes the bag so much easier to use and it makes it more versatile. In my personal opinion, when you are carrying a bag top handle, it elevates the bag drastically. If you put this bag on with a dress and you carry it top handle, it looks like a nicer, fancier bag. But if you take the strap and wear it crossbody, it looks like a very casual bag. Another thing that I absolutely love about this is the Damier Azure print. This is my favorite print from the fashion house. I wish that they would make more bags in the Damier Azur print, but I even more so wish that it didn't come with the Vaqueta leather every single time that they do the, the Damier Azur print. This bag fits all of my everyday essentials in here very, very comfortably and very easily. It does have the rose ballerine on the interior, which I think is absolutely stunning. I am looking for my perfect pink bag still. It's been a year long search, but I'm not willing to settle on my perfect pink bag. And so far I have not found one. It comes with a strap, but it is not an adjustable strap, which is such a bummer. This bag currently, as of today, retails for under $2,000, which I think is a really, really good price point. And this is my favorite Louis Vuitton bag in my entire Louis Vuitton collection. This next bag is a bag that has pleasantly surprised me. This is my Louis Vuitton mini Dauphine bag. I love everything about this bag and it's re the reason why it surprises me so much is because I don't necessarily love browns or warm tones and this bag is covered in brown and it also has the warm tones of the leather trimming here. I also don't love gold but there's something about this bag that I absolutely love. I love the boxiness of it. I love the size of it. I love to wear it cross body. I have worn it on my shoulder once or twice, but I definitely prefer to wear it cross body. But my favorite way to wear this bag is when I'm wearing a super basic outfit. So for example, a monochromatic outfit or jeans and a white shirt of some sort, maybe some linen. And then I pop this bag on and it just makes the perfect pop of pattern and color to add something visually interesting to a very simple outfit. And that is my favorite way to wear this. Now there is a couple things that are a little bit annoying about this bag. One is the size. It is a smaller bag, which I expected it not to fit a lot, but I wish it was just maybe an inch wider. I feel like it would make it just that much of a difference. And the other thing that I don't like about this bag or that is kind of cumbersome or can be cumbersome is the fact that it's really boxy. I actually like that. I think it adds something to the bag. If there aren't a lot of bags that are kind of, this isn't a square, it's a rectangle, but it's really close to a square. And I think it's really, really unique. I like the sides of it. It does have a somewhat adjustable strap, um, but it just has the two adjustments where you can shorten it as a short shoulder strap or a crossbody strap, but this bag has pleasantly, pleasantly, su pleasantly surprised me and she is ranking two in my Louis Vuitton collection. This next bag is a tried and true. She's an OG. She is the one and only the Louis Vuitton Vavine PM bag. You guys, this is my very first ever Louis Vuitton bag in my collection. 
I absolutely love this bag. You can double her up and wear her on your shoulder or you can wear her crossbody. I will say she's a really long crossbody. So if you are very tall or if you are very curvy, then this strap is going to be perfect for you. If you're really tiny and petite, you'll probably only be able to get away with wearing this bag as a shoulder bag. I love the classic design of this bag. This is my more sophisticated bag. Anytime I'm doing something that's a little bit more sophisticated, this is the bag that I would reach for. For example, if I had to go to court or if I had to um, go to a job interview or something like that where I have to dress up a little bit more proper, this is the bag that I'm going to reach for. I think it looks absolutely beautiful with slacks. It's just a really great bag, but I also love to use this bag for work. It, it fits all of my everyday essentials in here very, very easily. I don't have to skimp out on nothing. I don't have to leave anything at home. It's all going to fit in here. It's going to fit in here very comfortably. It's a lightweight bag. I love the fact that it has the black with the Damier Ben print. I think it's absolutely stunning. And then, of course, the beautiful gold hardware. It does have a front pocket right here, which you can fit a phone inside of this front pocket very, very easily. And then it has a long zipper in the back here, which I absolutely love. I don't use the zippers in any of my bags other than this one. And that's because it does open up so wide that you can fit all of your essentials in there and it's really easy to get to. So this is my Louis Vuitton Vavine PM, my very first bag ever to my collection. And she's ranking number three in my Louis Vuitton collection. We are down to the last two bags in my Louis Vuitton collection. If you guys are having fun, if you're finding that this video is entertaining, please hit that little subscribe button down below and be a part of our little growing family here. Also, don't forget to hit that little thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that this is a video that people are enjoying and then it will send out this video to other people so that they can enjoy it also. So the fourth bag in my collection, I had a hard time with putting this bag at number four, but it is my newest Louis Vuitton bag to my collection. This is the Louis Vuitton utility bag. I love this bag. I think it's so fun. I think it's so casual, so chic. I like to wear this bag specifically when I'm very dressed down. So if I have on leggings and an oversized t-shirt, I like to wear this bag crossbody because it comes with the, I call it a gu guitar strap. I think it's called a jacquard strap, something like that. I don't know. You guys, I'm not claiming to know everything, but it comes with one of these fabric straps, which I think looks really cute when you have it crossbody. And when you have an oversized shirt on, it just really, gives you some shape so i really like to wear this with leggings and oversized shirt since i have the bag open let's take a look on the inside so inside of there you can see it's got a little slip pocket here a little slip pocket here and then a big interior this bag does fit quite a bit inside of here but you can you take out your cards out of your wallet and put them inside of here so that it makes more room they fit in there perfectly it's almost like a card holder built inside of the bag Another thing that I find very useful about this bag is these pockets are the perfect size for any type of lip product. So if you have a lipstick, if you have a lip gloss, if you have a chapstick, it's going to fit inside of here. My headphones, my little AirPods fit inside of here as well as, and a little pill bottle. So these little pockets right here hold quite a bit. Don't be afraid to use them if you own this bag. I find them to be very, very useful. Now, one thing that I dislike about this bag is that the zipper is very difficult to open and close. It really gets stuck. And when you are in a hurry, I don't necessarily like that. So far, this is my newest Louis Vuitton bag to my collection. That's the only con that I have. It does come with the strap, as I mentioned, which is adjustable. This little guy right here is not functional at all because of the shape of it you can't fit hardly anything in there you might be able to fold up some bills and put in there but i wouldn't recommend doing that but the strap is adjustable and it is very very comfortable it's really really cute so why did this rank so low on my list there's only two reasons one it's the newest bag to my collection so i haven't used it a ton yet i have used it quite a bit but not enough to really put her higher up on the list 
And the second reason is I really only wear this bag with a very specific dressed down look. So if I'm dressed up, I'm not going to wear this bag. Now I will wear this bag if I have a little bit of makeup on and my hair done, and maybe I have my hair thrown up in a jogger set or something like that, I would still wear this bag. But for me, this is very ut utilitarian. Did I say that right? Did I do it? Did I, did I do a good job? You guys know what I'm talking about. I am the worst with words and mispronouncing everything, but this bag is really cute. It's just a very casual bag for me. The last bag, you guys, this is the bottom for a couple of reasons. Mrs. Leva, May, my good friend, don't yell at me, don't hate me. It just isn't my favorite bag. This bag is a bag that is essential to my collection. If I had, if this bag left my collection for whatever reason, I would probably run out and buy it again. And the only reason why it's essential, don't shoot me guys, I know so many people love this bag. This is a work bag for me, specifically in the winter months when I need to carry a little bit more, when I need to put like a scarf or gloves or whatever it may be, something warm inside of here, something bulky inside of here. So that is why I think that this bag is an essential to my collection, but this bag is not an exciting bag for me. It's not a bag that I look at and I think, oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. It's not a weekend bag. It's not something that I pull out over and over again. It is truly a work bag for me. I think I've used it on the weekend maybe once or twice and that's just because I wanted to see how it would work for my weekend life. But it is truly a work bag. I have other bags that I am so much more excited about. Now, I do feel like if I were to have gotten I just noted something on this bag. Sorry guys, it's, yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. But now I'm distracted. I think that if I were to have gotten this in the Damier Azure print, which is my favorite print, this one right here, I would get a lot more use out of it. I do dress mainly in cool tones, grays, blues, pinks, purples, stuff like that. And I think that the Damier Azure print matches with those cooler undertones so much better than the Damier Aben print. I did recently see a TikTok, I believe, where somebody had the Speedy B25 in the Damier Azure print crossbody with a dress. You guys, I would have never thought to wear this with a dress. To me, it's just a bowling bag style, but that made me really think about my style and wearing this with a dress. So in the winter time, I'm definitely gonna have to try that out. This print doesn't match with my summer dresses, but I think that that would be really cute to try this out with a dress. Those are my five Louis Vuitton bags that I have in my collection in order of my most favorite to my least favorite. Which one of my Louis Vuitton bags are your favorite and which one of your Louis Vuitton bags is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments below so that I can communicate with you guys and I can get some conversations rolling. I really do enjoy talking to you guys down in the, com uh, the conver not conversation box, what is that called? I can't remember what it's called, oh my goodness. Comment box? Anyways, you guys, I really enjoy talking with you guys. If you guys wanna leave a comment, please do. If you want to conversate with me over on DMs on Instagram, please do that as well. I would love to talk to you guys. I have quite a few of you guys that I have regular conversations with over there, and I have so much fun at talking to you guys. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, bye guys.